Hello my lovelies, this is going to be your weekly spiritual guidance. We're going to see what's keeping you stuck and what we need to do about it. So let's see what messages we have from the animals this week. Alright, so what is it that's stuck? That you might need some solitude in order to regain your self-esteem and your tranquility. So where can you find your sanctuary this week? That might be keeping you stuck. If things are a little bit crazy all over the place, you're busy all the time, when do you have downtime? When do you have time to yourself to regain that tranquility, that peace, that solitude? That could be something that's keeping you stuck. All right, one more of these. Wild boar, whatever tradition or others expect of you, only to yourself be true. You may need to let go of others' expectations of you this week. That may also be what's holding you back or keeping you stuck. What is the root of this? What is the root cause? What's keeping you stuck? All right, so you need some understanding from the divine. It looks like they're bestowing upon you some sort of knowledge, some downloads or understanding. The truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. So Spirit's asking you to see the bigger picture. What action can you take? You need to use this wisdom. You already know the answers you seek, so trust what you know. That's about trusting your intuition, trusting where spirit is leading you, and I feel like that's going to be really important for you this week. So what is the action that you can take? What do you need to know for the action you need to take this week? All right, so death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So with every ending, there is a new beginning, whether that's literal or figurative for death. Sometimes the endings are merely the beginning of something new coming in. So you may need to take some action and it's gonna require discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And yes, you can, but you may have to actually stay positive about the outcome. You may need to cut some things out. You may need to find your peace and solitude, let go of the weight of other people's opinions, trusting where spirit is leading you, trusting the wisdom within. So we have a lot of things to kind of weigh in this week, it looks like. What is the lesson or the growth that you can find? Friendships might be something that helps you to grow. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And how can I find calm or joy in forgiveness? I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So I feel like Spirit is trying to show you that maybe there's people in your life that are meant to be in your life to teach you lessons, to teach you how to love, to teach you how to forgive. And Spirit's showing you that you already have all the tools that you need in order to grow. So what is the ultimate lesson or the growth that's needed this week? Let's get a better shuffle than that. What do the angels need us to know? What is the ultimate lesson for our growth this week? There it is. All right, we have friendships and union. Seeing a common theme here, friendship and union, friendship. So our friendships are teaching us things that we need right now. Some of that might be forgiveness, some of it might be how to be disciplined, how to listen to ourselves, but I feel like it's an important lesson. Spirit says, ask and receive. So ask for what you need and you will receive it. Remember to give ease and grace to yourself and others this week and trust the universe. Know that Spirit always has your back. Ask for what you need. Be willing to listen to the advice that's given from Spirit, from others, from people wiser than ourselves. And it's really important that we let go of what doesn't serve us this time and trust the universe's divine plan. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.